Big Z Reviews. The Office is a comedy show that has finished premiering a while ago, but still has uh, an extra life on streaming. And uh, some reason I'm going to be talking about it today. The whole quarantine going on. I've like been watching a lot of comfort shows, like and the whole like to just get through this. And you know, I watched uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia again. I watched most of The Simpsons. I watched all of Bob's Burgers, and I watched all of The Office, and just finished you know my in my third watch. Like I, I watched them all like as they came on TV, and I done I've done one rewatch before, and this is my third watch of all of them. Of course, some of the episodes I've seen multiple times, but like as like from beginning to end, this is my third like rewatch. And it's it's an excellent show. I love just how, like, there's no other show like you can see actually the people. It looks like a natural like uh, what America looks like, what an American office would look like. Like so many, the, there's off, there's actually a couple of fat people in it, and there's like a bunch of di- all the different races and different sizes and shapes and ages and. And all the actors are really good. Well, they're doing that, you know, kind of like mockumentary, like or like if it's, it's documentary, but it's like you know, it's 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 kind of out of place for most of the show. Like there, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel like it, you know. And like they, a couple other shows have done this, but I think this probably has done it the best. And uh, it's it's such an excellent show for most of it, and I I just love so much of it, like everyone in it, and it's just I just finished, of course. The final season. And when I was rewatching it, I was like, should I should I watch this last season? And I was like, yeah, well, might as well. I watch everything else. Might as well watch it. And I noticed something that, you know, I've, I've like I said, I've watched it other, other times, but I never really noticed this. And I didn't really pay attention to, like, what people say about it online that much. Like, I know some of it, but I'm not that focused on it. But watching it this time, I realized that the entire third season is all about the creators bashing the person that they picked to take over the show as the lead and the boss, Ed Helms as Andy Bernard. The entire season and wrecking characters that have been there the whole the whole show, like like Jim and Pam, like that whole bit is all about Jim leaving the show for this maybe brighter thing as athlete. And that is what Ed Ed Helms is doing. But like I think the idea that he like he like they picked him to like to continue the show, you know, after the main guy left and that but like this like they talk about like like how you know then he I think left for hangover and that to be a to be a movie star and so much of the show is about the last season is about how how horrible he is and like he disappears for a while they never even mention him and like no one no one else comes in to fill the spot and it's it's like it's just the whole entire show is about how how he how they hate him and it's just it's it's, when I realized it, it's almost tough to watch. Like, even when he randomly came back from that, like, couple months trip he took to the Bahamas, like, he's so horrible and mean, and, like, they use the worst of it as with him. And they do that on purpose. Like, they're doing it to to make him look bad. And then, like, when they go, when they reveal, like, they have the whole thing where the actual documentary that they've been filming show, like, uh, is, is actually comes out. And like he becomes the uh, like he wants to become a star, and everyone it's all about well you can't be a star you don't have the looks for it. and it's all about that and that's really it's about the actor, it's not about the character I mean it is too, but it's all this all, all the show is about bad mouthing the actor, and it's it's when I realized that it's like ooh, <laughs> it's tough to watch a little bit, and I think the worst part about like. They have this whole bit where the sound guy, who happens to be very handsome, is like kind of flirting with Pam, and there's a whole bunch of stuff like it's kind of horrible where, where like Pam, like now like, um, Jim can't live his dream, 
Like, and he have to, if he wants to be with her, he has to give it all up for her. And, like, and this, the writing for it is very bad. And it feels like before, it kind of felt real. But, like, in all this stuff, it feels like, it feels forced. It feels like it's written. It feels like it's, like, it's actually a sitcom instead of, you know, a show. Instead of what's supposed to be a mockumentary, kind of. But then the worst part is when they, on Valentine's Day, they go, like, meet him, that double date, but then he's broken up with his girlfriend or whatever after he, is it after he'd been fired for, and for, like, getting in between a guy that was about to beat Pam up? And the the thing they broke the rules like you're you're calling upon the fact that this is a documentary like the guy the sound guy looks at the camera and like oh the cameras came for this lunch and so so the character acknowledged the camera and then in the next while they're at the table they go they do a shot a shot b shot a shot b like they have like you know, it's like a multi-cam sitcom where, like, you see, like, you know, one person talking, you see them, then they switch to that. But when they do that, you, you see that's impossible because the one A shot, B shot, you see behind the other character. And that's where the camera would be to get the B shot. So the A shot couldn't be real. There, there would be a cameraman standing right behind them. So, like, that only works because it's a sitcom. But they just acknowledge the camera that this is a documentary. So, there would have to be two cameramen there in this shot around this table in this, in this restaurant. And they are not in the other footage. So, you break in the rules. Like, you can't acknowledge that this is a camera and this is a documentary and then do an A shot, B shot... Like, there is just a sitcom, and the, the actual cameraman is no longer there. It just doesn't work. Like, in the show, they, they, you don't think about it because they don't acknowledge the cameras. But when you acknowledge the cameras, you can't break the rules and use multi-cams when the other camera should be in the shot. Like, something, when I watched that, something, something about that frustrated me so much. Like, more than the horrible character of the, of the sound guy messing with Jim and Pam's relationship. Like, it's something about that. Oh, it annoyed me so much. So, you know, the, the last season did not invalidate the rest of the show. Because, I mean, the, the rest of the show, so much of it is amazing. But, like, if I was recommending the show to someone else... I I would, might tell them to stop watching, but like the season, the the second to last season, even though it wasn't as good, there's still a lot of funny stuff, and there was even some funny stuff in the very last season, but much much less, and uh, so much of it is just all based on the creators trying to bash Ed Helms, and it's weird. I I never I don't know if I've ever seen that like in a show where it's so clearly. The writers are trying to attack the actor that plays the character. And it, it's like, it's, it's not even like underneath, on like uh, underscored. It's like, it's not, it, it's so obvious what they're doing. Like, and it's all like so much of the, of the story of the last season is all about how, how much of a horrible person that Harris is. And then so much of like, it, when he actually comes back is like about how, You'll never, you'll never um, make it in Hollywood as the leading man, and it's just, it's, it's odd. Like for the actual show, I probably give like nine point five, nine point seven five out of ten. For well, the last season, like a four out of ten. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, thanks for watching. Check out the playlist in my head. It's crashing Z over there. Thanks. This has been a Big Z TV show review. Thanks for watching.